In this clip, we'll look at how you can access some reports inside of Mastery Connect. So we can do this a couple ways. First and foremost, we're inside of Canvas. I'm going to go ahead and go from my course to where I see Mastery Tracker in the course navigation. Now this tracker has already been structured so that it's reduced and eliminated. So we're only looking at the benchmarks. Now, if you had your tracker in its entirety, go ahead and click these things. So all this is just a way to filter. But if you wanted to go ahead and say, okay, I've looked at my tracker in its entirety. Now I want to hover over where you see any of the benchmark scores or assessments and drill down for once I hover over there with my mouse to where we see reports. Now the first thing you're looking at is by item. So you can see where it says we're looking at the results in this example from the grade one math DI number one. And you can see how did your students perform on each of the individual items. Now this is helpful and practical if you wanted to be able to see, you know, how did my students excel or maybe what some of the items they may have struggled with and you could drill down to what those items are or even look at just the standard in terms of which standards your students either excelling or struggling with. Something else to be mindful is the fact that you can also adjust how you're looking at it. What I mean by that is right here is the item analysis. That's the default first option. You could also go to student mastery. And now we're looking at by standard, how did your entire class perform on OA A1 or OA B3? And you can get this pretty good indication with regards to the color coding. Now, something else that is also helpful, assuming you have multiple teachers at the same site doing the same assessment, teacher comparison. This is gonna be able to tell you across the board, how did other teachers at your school perform? So that might be able to lend yourself to some good PLC conversations in terms of what was going well, or what were we doing to be able to best teach that particular standard. The other thing you can do is be able to come to the ability to print scores. Now, if you come over here where it says print scores, this is going to give you the list of all of your students' names. Now, it defaults by bubbling or checking off all of the boxes for all of the students, as well as for each of the items. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click print and show you what that looks like. This would probably be something if you were thinking to be able to, to provide to families so they can get a better idea of how their students performed on this one assessment. But what it gives you, and it's not page by page, but more so, it gives you where you can see the, here's the test name, here's the student and how they performed on each of the individual items and then their overall score. So now while it doesn't give us formatting page breaks for each individual student, you could, if you wanted to, go ahead and cut those out. I'm gonna go ahead and go back. Now this was one way that we access it from inside of your tracker. I wanna show you that you can also do the same thing from the assignments and locating the assessment. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. We're gonna come over to assignments. And once you're here, you're gonna quickly locate where is that assignment. So this is the same exact one. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. Now that pop-up that's gonna automatically come has options just like we had seen from that drop-down inside of your tracker. You have the option right here to click on reports. Again, this takes us to the same exact location that we were seeing before from inside of your tracker. But instead of going through our tracker, this time we went through the assignments in our Canvas course and then found the assessment or the assignment itself. So hopefully this video is helpful for you to be able to understand how you can access and see the scores for assessments that you may have administered, specifically in this example, the district benchmark or the DIAs. If you have any questions, let us know.